I believe the answer is no. Uh, there are several other inefficiencies that need review and reform, starting with sharing of services between municipality and government. As you can see from all these numbers, it makes my head spin, but I also see the plenty of opportunity for sharing and cutting of costs. More solutions, prison reform. Correction spending is almost nine times the spending it had in 1982, and the current level um, is currently 20% of the general fund expenses. Tax credits. The House Fiscal Agency estimates that tax credits, exemptions, and deductions amount to more than $36 billion that is not paid to the state. And finally, raise revenue, increase the taxes. A recent poll by Epic MRA found that 64%, two-thirds of Michigan citizens, say they would accept some increase in taxes or fees to help balance the budget. This is opposed to what you've probably been hearing in the media. With a nearly $2 billion deficit staring at us straight in the face, we have no choice but to make cuts, but these cuts need to focus on reform and not just the quick fixes of the past. Everyone must be willing to share in these sacrifices, and the cultural change is critical to our success. Even with these shared sacrifices, there's still a huge budget problem out there, and state payroll is only 10% of that problem. Lawmakers need to look beyond the state payroll to actually fix our budget. Most of us decided to become public servants to make a difference. Well, here's another chance. Now that you've seen these facts laid out before you, I urge you to contact your local representatives, senators, union reps, write an editorial in the paper, bring this awareness to the general public. Why is this all so important? Because like BJ said in my intro, I want to make sure my family stays in Michigan. I love this state, but government's not working right now. If we don't do something now, how am I to know we'll have a good education system and quality of life for my kids when they grow up? It requires shared sacrifices, and we need structural reform, and we need it now. Thank you. Thank you, Jen.